Okay, you guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your illustrious host, Minister of Soul, Khadija. Um, okay, I finally got out a little anxiety uh, that was uh, pretty much uh, driven by the insanity of the last four years of Donald Trump. Um, my concern right now is how do we repair this? As I stated in a prior video, you know, we're looking at everybody sideways now because now that the smoke is cleared and we really see the intentions or the heart of a lot of people that we might not have suspected, um, it just brings staunch reality to us in terms of african-american people is like we we really on our own and we really um need to really understand that we don't have any allies if we do they're very small and um however they're still small but they're there uh but for the most part like i said i'm i'm looking at a lot of people sideways i mean because just think about what what has happened, what has transpired since the uh, you know the election, the election, and and what pursued afterwards. We got a man that lies. He just lies, 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 and the media never called him on it. And this is what I mean when I say that America is so comfortable with narcissistic behavior. We breed them. And somebody got mad at me when I first, way back in my early videos, y'all probably can look back years and years back, Um, I stated that. And a lot of people on there got mad at me because I said, you know, when that race color construct came in, that was developed by a bunch of narcissists. When you look at Christopher Columbus and the, psycho the, the, the mindset of a person that will come and see peaceful people. And to use them and then start stealing from them and being uh, totally barbaric shows you the mindset of the individual. It wasn't like these people turned on them because they saw a foreigner coming or something that looked strange coming. So we will attack. They didn't do that. They opened their arms up to these uh, Portuguese or these Italian um, uh, uh, explorers. And the rest is history. They we subdued them and they became very barbaric um and so we know where in where the problem lies all you got to do is look at history you know it's not anything made up it's not nothing i'm giving pleasure out of saying because white folks think they can do whatever they want to do take over whatever spot they want to because they're not a native of anywhere they are on the planet and then say it's a matter of manifest destiny what type of craziness what kind of mindset? And that's what I mean by the narcissistic mindset. Manifest destiny for you to go and put yourself in the place of God. Him, her, him herself. That Because uh, the almighty creator knew where he wanted us to be placed. Placed the first man and woman in Africa. Life came, human life came out of that. And because you're such an aberration of that. You try to put yourself, you actually try to put yourself on earth as God. And you've been allowed to rule as a God on the planet. Except your rulership has brought nothing but destruction to the human family. And you have to go. Donald Trump, you're fired. You're fired. And I'm so happy that you're fired. Because anybody that's as sick as you. Don't need to be leading no country, no place. And for all you sick people that are used to that kind of behavior, see, I'm in recovery uh, from the things that I've done in show business, the uh, uh, personalities and, and, and energies, and even in religion that I've been uh, subjected to, I've been abused by. Um, I can spot this behavior. I can even spot the tendencies. And uh, I mean, we. Listen, all of us have a certain amount of narcissism. So I don't want to say it like, you know, because people overuse the word. So unless you really understand what it is, it's just like, I don't want this to be overused. 
because there are people with strong personalities, but they are they are empathetic. And so there's a difference. And there are some people who have a strong sense of self, and that's okay. Okay, I'm not knocking that. I have a very strong sense of self. There's a lot of people that I know that have a strong sense, especially if you've been involved with show business, you've had to have, or boxing or anything where you've had to entertain because you've had to separate yourself to some degree to even do this, right? You have to take your mind someplace else. But what I'm saying about Donald Trump is he caused harm to people and had, didn't have no problem with it. Shoot the uh, people that come across the border, even though he doesn't know enough about history to know that America has created all the problems that the Latin Americans are running from. Oliver North and that whole contraband, all that whole cocaine scandal. They don't guns, arms for drugs. None of that is in their mindset. And so they're just picking out on these people who are running because they are a part of America. They're just south. We're north. But we're making it seem as if they're not even should be on the map. But then you didn't say that when you went into there and destroyed their country. Like you've done everywhere. You've gone. You've raped, robbed, pillaged. And so unless you really deal with that, you can't see the insanity of the man that the, you that these people. Well, once you see that, I should say, you should see the insan. I should see the insanity that the majority of these people chose to rule this nation. And they were so hateful and angry after Obama that they really tried to punish black people and anybody else that was brown and anybody else was white. So you saw the worst of humanity come out with Donald Trump. And um, how to put this back together? I don't know if it can be. It's like trying to squeeze the toothpaste back into the tube. Y'all showed y'all asses. All you Karens, all you people that went out there attacking people for no reason. And uh, what are you doing here? Why are you in my neighborhood? Dude? Those of y'all who felt emboldened because you had a racist man in charge. You're going to keep that same energy now and you're going to start seeing yourself being whacked. You're going to find yourself being knocked out. You're going to find yourself on the other end of violence that you don't ain't accustomed to being perpetrated against you. But you are the aggressor. And so now. People that are on the other end, they're not going to have not two cents of toleration for your madness because they know where the heart of it is. They know they know you black. You go, your heart is black. And so when you come to, uh, especially if you come to me, a sister my age, as seasoned as I am, let me tell you, I keep myself in some kind of shape a little bit now because any one of you old people come talking crazy like that to me, you think I'm going to just walk away? I would like to. But if you like some of these Karens, you're very persistent. You're very de uh, 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 deliberate in your racist rhetoric. So you, somebody have to do something because otherwise you're going to run amok. And that's what you've had a chance to do when Donald Trump was in office. And sad to say, because I don't advocate violence. I really don't. But I am saying a lot of y'all going to have to get knocked the hell down in order for y'all to understand that Donald Trump had you on some delusional party. We were on a path at least to trying to go towards a more perfect union. We know the union messed up, but we were working on a, 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 a more perfect union. And then came Donald Trump, who exposed everything negative about the human family, about us, and especially as Americans, because you can't go nowhere and feel the same racial tension that you feel when you're in America. And those of y'all who say you can't, you lying. I don't care if it is oppression and stuff in those countries. You don't feel it the same way you feel it when you walk on getting off the airport. Where are you getting off? Kennedy, uh, uh, LaGuardia, it doesn't matter. O'Hara. Once you hit America, you know that the race thing is real. And then the people reflect it. You can just be on a, a, a vacation with a, a white folks. And you, some of y'all departing and flying the same plane or whatever. And you can see them in the tropics where you were. And if it's a black country, their behavior is totally different. They have a little humbleness to them, at least. Because they see they're not the majority. And then when you say them same people and you get off the airplane, they damn near calling you names. And that's when I say welcome to America.
with John Mellencamp there. I hate that America. Hmm. Okay, well, the fact that the states that Donald Trump won, he said they were, they, you know, they were for the, the counts where he was okay. The city states that he won, um, they were fair. And, it's fair and it's square, and you don't need to do anything. Of course, the states that he lost or any, you know, were fraudulent, need recounts, and the, all the kind of behavior that a malignant narcissist with uh, a sick individual, a sociopath with unfeathered power would do that y'all gave him. A sick man. And so now I'm looking at America as more than just a sick country. It's a cesspool. It's a cesspool. The swamp has been drained now that you done got this crazy man out. The swamp has been drained. But because you started off on such a bad note, starting way back in 1619, if you're serious about cleaning up the swamp, it ain't going to start with just this patching, 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 and pe thinking you can piece and patch your way back to democracy and equality and shit like that. It don't work like that. You're going to have to really get down there and clean that stuff out. The madness that you people have created right here. That what didn't exist before you stepped your foot on this place in North America. Oh, you had it with each other because you always were fighting each other, right? So y'all, y'all, that's all you knew. And then you came here and did the same thing. So now at this point, the we have to figure out how we're going to come back from this. But I can tell y'all this. Most black people that I talk to are on notice with y'all. They're not even, they so far at the tip of the iceberg. And y'all can leave a comment and let me know if I, about the people that you converse with and how they feel about after this four years is over with. Because most of the people I know that I've talked with and, I, you know, and I'm just reflecting some of their um, sentiments is that I wish one of these Karens or these Kevins would come up to me now that Donald Trump is out of office. Because William Barr be gone, and we know now that there will be some cases tried. However far they get, we don't know because they did do a good job of stacking courts. But we don't have to look at Fred Flintstone anymore. We don't have to look at uh, the Orange Crush. We don't have to look at that Kelly uh, Conway, whose own uh, flesh and blood knows that that whole her parent, her parent, her mother is diabolical, and she speaks openly about it. These people were the swamp, and now the swamp has really been drained. And like I said, I'm looking at y'all sideways because I know that y'all standard ain't very high at all. And as black people, our moral compass is a little higher as a standard because there's no way in the world we would let somebody like Donald Trump represent us. That's why he got so little, low a, a voting percentage from the uh, African-American community. It wasn't just so much of, you know, his, you know, disdain for Mexicans or whatever. That was a big part of it, his racism. But a lot of big part of it is because he was just racist, immoral, unethical, a liar, a cheater. And all these things were attractive to y'all. All these things that y'all saw as somebody that should sit in the seat of power. But we look at it as this man is a demagogue. And he shouldn't have no power. He sh in fact, he should be in a mental house. A real one. Not in here with us. Because we understanding it and working on stuff here. Either that or the insane asylum. And y'all allowed him to run this country for four years. Yeah, I know the world is laughing at us because I'm laughing. I can't believe it. I still cannot believe that Donald Trump was the president of the United States. And sometimes it tickles me. Uh, all, the, all the damage that he's done, I still find the ability to laugh. Because I said, I can't believe it. <laughs> Donald Trump 
the president of the United States, this dummy who can't even put a complete sentence together? I don't know where we go from here, y'all. I really don't. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work. So, um, you know, with that being said, let me go ahead on. For YouTube, get mad. You say I'm overstepping my boundaries. If you like what you hear, and all you sensitive people out there, you got to be able to handle the truth because the truth will set you free. With that being said, y'all, please uh, leave your comments below and tell me what you think about um, <laughs> the swamp being drained or not. I welcome to hear your comments as well. And if you voted for Trump, why? What, what, what appealed to you? I'm more interested in that. What appealed to you about this man? And don't just tell me because you made money. Because if you made money with a rapist, would you would you be sitting there bragging about it? Yeah, I made this money with my friend dude. Yeah, because you know, he had raped somebody and um, you know, and these women. Is that how you roll? Or would you be saying, Oh, that's just, you know, locker room talk, you know, yeah. I made money with him, yeah, and after he came in from raping all these people, I, I would hope he wouldn't have that conversation. But then again, Y'all voted for Donald Trump, so I don't know where you at. So stand up and be counting. Let me know. All right? And if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.